Hey gang, I'm back at Mount Carmel Cemetery and today we're just going to walk and look at some stones and a lot of pictures. This is an area that I've been wanting to walk for a while. For those of you that are new to the channel, I've got probably more than 15 episodes here, so search back. In fact, down below in the description box I'll put some references for you if you want to see some earlier ones. But yeah, let's just look at some stones and some pictures and maybe many of these people are forgotten. Let's remember them. This is an area of the cemetery where the monuments aren't large and impressive but that's okay. There are a lot of pictures. Very interesting. This is Father Frank and Mother Grace. I believe this is son Lewis. You're looking at history, guys. This is These are mostly immigrants who came to Chicago back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And they brought their family for a better life to forge their futures. Hard working Mostly Italian here at Mount Carmel. There are German Irish, but it was the Italian tradition to have the pictures made. You'll see the pictures. Also, if you see like Czech or Armenian Eastern Bloc, You'll see pictures also like at, oh, Bohemian National Cemetery. And I think that's why those are some of my, well, I would say my, the most intriguing cemeteries for me to see the faces. As I had mentioned when I was little in Niles growing up, across the street from St. Adelbert Cemetery. This is, I, I would just, you know, I was eight, nine years old, I would just stare at the pictures. Like this, you just wonder what were their lives like. Look at this, wow, here's some very amazing pictures. And the, the, the porcelains are, are in just amazing shape. And you see so many kids that died. And if you see... 1918, 1919, 1920. It'll be the Spanish flu that took most of these kids. I know I've talked about it before. The kids took it the worst because there was a previous epidemic decades before the Spanish flu came and swept through the world. And many of the elders or the parents, they had their immune system altered and by percentage, it was the kids that really, that really took it the worst. The beautiful statue of the Virgin here, it's kind of tipping over a little bit. Madalena. Died 1926 in summer, spring, spring, summer. Here's a family plot marker, looks like. Well, maybe just Nicola here.
These images, when you look at them, it's I've said it before, it's like stepping back in time. It's like a time machine. There are many pictures here. Vincenza, Oliverio, it looks like. Passed in 1923. Look at this picture. right out of the Roaring Twenties, right? Look at that, just amazing. It looks like 1923, 1925, Giuseppina passed. It's great that these pictures are enduring. Giuseppe, probably with his kids here, Get a close up. The father and the kids. So sad. And I look at the date here, and well, I don't see a date. I don't see a date, so I'm guessing it's probably 1920, 1918, and there. Sadly, this picture is gone. Many times the lawnmowers going by will throw a stone. I remember when I first started doing this, I thought, oh my gosh, vandals. Who's doing this? Who would do this? But it's really just the luck or the bad luck. Now, what's interesting at this stone is there's a scissors. So I imagine the family were... We're barbers. November 1883 to January 1906. Raffaelli. What, what a handsome young man. So many kids cut short. Lives cut short. Boy, there's so many. We could do hours and hours. Again, you see this picture and you just think of immigrants coming, hardworking immigrants, the promise of their fortunes in America. It's an amazing sculpture there of an angel. Let's take a look. Yeah, no picture, sadly. Oh, here's one. Here's a big square one. This is unusual. Oh, what an amazing picture, guys. Look at this. Timeless. Can't read the inscription. Just timeless. Who was she? What was her life? How did she die? Well, if you check the cemetery records, you could do so for each and every one of these. You get on Ancestry, you could do it. Someday people will 
probably for each and every one of these past my lifetime. It'll probably all be housed in a data bank somewhere where you can just go and read the story of their lives, hopefully. And some, some will be lost forever because the families, the families are gone and the descendants cannot be found. And in some cases, the, the entire lineage is wiped out. We talked about that. On and on it goes. Let's keep going. Eighteen eighty six, eighteen sixty six, eighteen fifty seven, and nineteen twenty seven. This is his wife, Rosa. I see what looks to be a young child here. Little girl on her... Well, it looks like... A bicycle or a oh a little boy. Look at that. I wonder what happened. Never got to live his life. And just imagine the grief. The father here, Giuseppe family had to endure all the sadness but now reunited or reunited for a little while Antonetta 1889 to 1916 What stories would she tell us? Carboni? If I'm mispronouncing that, is it Carbone or Carboni? Put it in the description box. Oh, look at that. If that is not a picture of a hard-working immigrant, was he a carpenter? Was he a craftsman? Was he a fisherman? The stories that you could... The stories that the they could tell. Unbelievable. Another child. Looks like 1912. I cannot read the name. Father. Very serious look. Again, in those days, people didn't smile much. Very old pictures. It's not because they were unhappy. It was considered disrespectful to smile. Open Bible.
looks like, well, I can't see the death date. It looks like 1867 to 1913. Another hardworking Italian American chipping in, making, making a great country here. These immigrants were all part of it. Nunzio. There's a picture of a dog and a gun. So Nunzio was a hunter, I'm guessing. Or if any of you know what that might have a specific meaning besides what seems obvious, maybe that, that has a specific meaning. Many times they did not have pictures other than their communion, first communion or wedding pictures. Cameras and iPhones weren't floating around in those days. And pictures were, you know, to get a photograph was uh, quite an ordeal and expensive. Most of these people being immigrants, whether Italian or German or Irish or all the rest, didn't have spare money for pictures. Now this looks like a newer stone. Somebody came back, which is great, it's in granite, so this is going to last a long time. Here's Maria, 1899 to 1914, died young. She died July 24th of 1914, too young, way too young. What was her story? Who was she? Was she going to get married? Did she fall in love? We'll never know. Some more recent pictures. A misty gray day today. Ah, we have a serviceman here. This is Vito on the bottom, passed in 1926, 43 years old. And I believe this would be his father who passed in 1917. And up above, Daniel, this looks like World War II era. He passed in 1978, thank you for your service. Great pictures. Great pictures. Gotta love our veterans. That's bravery. Teresa Pepe. Passed in 1909. Not sure what month that is. See, there's a lot more. This 
See, here's a good example of a stone. Although, you know what? I don't know if that's a stone. It's Alfredo Giovanni. And that's a post-mortem post picture of a boy in the... Well, it's hard to say if it's a coffin. It looks like a casket. These are irreplaceable. Not all the time. Sometimes they have the pictures on record. And you can get these remade. Try to get the dates here for you. Father passed in 1963. Does not say when the little boy passed, or I'm sure we can find out. This is the mother. Do a few more. eighteen seventy eight to nineteen thirty five I see another post mortem coming up here. I think it's a child, it looks like, it's hard to say, but it's right here. Um, hmm. I'll let you read the inscriptions and then we'll zoom in. I cannot, the picture's very small, but I know with the camera that I use has a the, probably the largest image sensor, Super 4K too, so when we get in editing or when I publish this should be able to tell possibly the wife the husband many times they would take the postmortems if they didn't have pictures if they didn't have pictures or any good pictures You see this man is on one the left side he has an inscription on the right side for future but nobody's there he died in 1911 possibly his wife remarried moved away that's usually what happens all right we'll wrap it up here gang see a child Anthony Argentino is the family plot, Vivenzo. It's the father, Dominic. 
And Little Anthony, 1924 to 1929. So sad. Very sad to think about. All right, gang. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, like I said, if you're new, got a bunch of the here from Mount Carmel I did last year. So go back and check some of those out if you want. And we'll do more here someday. Be safe.